Mortgage problem is continuing to worsen. New figures from the central bank show that almost 100,000 people have fallen into arrears. There are almost 800,000 private mortgage accounts in Ireland with a value of 114 billion euro. New figures show more and more of them are slipping into arrears. At the end of September, 63,000 or 8% of mortgage accounts were in arrears of 90 days or more. That's up from 56,000 in June and up from just 44,500 in December last year. On top of that, another 36,000 accounts have been restructured, meaning just under 100,000 people are in some form of difficulty. Lenders continue to seek court orders for repossessions. Banks repossessed a total of 162 homes during the last quarter. 43 of those were on foot of court orders. The bulk, though, 119, were voluntarily surrendered or abandoned. Fianna Fáil says the central bank figures don't show the true extent of the problem. Well, I think we now have a real crisis in relation to mortgage arrears. When you take account of those in arrears uh, for less than 90 days on top of the official published figures today, then you arrive at a figure close to 150,000 mortgages that are in difficulty, which means somewhere close to one in five mortgages now uh, are in trouble. The Irish Banking Federation says banks are being proactive in helping customers by restructuring their loans. This is dismissed by pressure groups. Nothing's changed. And let's be very, very clear. The banks are looking after the banks. The bank's policy and standard is they will deal with people on a customer one-to-one -one basis. They will not deal with organisations. They want to deal with individuals. Where they are stronger, they have the power, they have the authority. And that is simply not acceptable. You don't think they're doing enough? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances are they doing enough. Absolutely not. Two of the biggest lenders, Bank of Ireland and Ulster Bank, said today they still haven't decided if they'll pass on the recent ECB interest rate reduction. Stephen Murphy, TV3 News.